there, my dear friend. I was sent to you from a far, far away land from your friend Sophia. She told me she wanted me to tell you some jokes, as the other day you were a bit down. She said you like funny stuff and I do hope the jokes I have found are not shit lol. So make a cup of tea. Sit down and watch. Question. Why do farts stink? Answer. So that deaf people can enjoy them too. Question. Why does it take one million sperm to fertilize one egg? Answer, they won't stop to ask directions. Question. Why is divorce so expensive? Answer. Because it's worth it. Lol. Oh my god, that was funny. Question. What is black, white, and red all over? Answer. A skin with nappy rash. Question. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Answer. No idea. Why are there fences around a graveyard? Because people are dying to get in. Police arrested two kids yesterday. One was drinking battery acid, the other was eating fireworks. They charged one and let the other one off. Another one was, Doc, I can't stop singing the green green grass of home. He said, that sounds like Tom Jones syndrome. Is it common? I asked. It's not unusual, he replied. I went to the doctors the other day and I said, have you got anything for wind? So he gave me a fucking kite. My mother-in-law fell down a wishing well. I was amazed. I never knew they worked. I saw this bloke chatting up a cheetah. I thought, he's trying to pull a fast one. I rang up British Telecom. I said, I want to report a nuisance caller. He said, not you again. A man and a woman started to have sex in the middle of a dark forest. After about 15 minutes of it, the man finally gets up and says, Damn, I wish I had a flashlight. The woman says, Me too, you've been eating grass for the past 10 minutes. A teacher was wrapping up class and started talking about tomorrow's final exam. He said there would be no excuses for not showing up tomorrow, barring a dire medical condition or an immediate family member's death. One smart-ass male student said, what about extreme sexual exhaustion? And the whole classroom burst into laughter. After the laughter had subsided, the teacher glared at the student and said, not an excuse, you can use your other hand to write. A police officer was patrolling the highway when he sees a guy tied up to a tree, crying. The officer stops and approaches the guy. What's going on here? He asks. The guy sobs, I was driving and picked up a hitchhiker. He pulled the gun on me, robbed me, took all my money, my clothes, my car, and then tied me up. The cop studied the guy for a moment and then pulled down his pants and whipped out his dick. I guess this isn't your lucky day, pal. A guy goes to the store to buy condoms. Do you want a bag? The cashier asks no. The guy says, she's not that ugly. One day, a little boy wrote to Santa Claus. Please send me a sister Santa Claus wrote him back. Okay, send me your mother. An 80-year-old couple were seen shagging furiously up against a fence. For 40 minutes they shagged like bastards. Arms and legs going everywhere until they fell to the floor. Christ, she said you didn't fuck me like that 50 years ago. To which the old man replied 50 years ago that fence wasn't fucking electric. Got thrown out of strip club last night for using Monopoly money. I don't see why I should pay real money to see fake boobs. Got approached by a prostitute today who said that she would do anything for $10. Guess who just got their car washed? Can't believe I've just been banned from using Match.com. 
Apparently my dick is an inappropriate answer to the question, what do you want most in a woman? An attractive lady and an old man are sitting next to each other on a bus. The following conversation takes place. Lady, can you help me get something off my breast, please? Old man, yes, yeah, sure, it would be my pleasure. What is it? Lady, your eyes. My math teacher asked me a question today at school. What comes after 69? Apparently mouthwash isn't the correct answer. Why is Santa Claus a heavy drinker? Because he only empties his sack once a year. I've got nothing against gays, but I wish they would stop sending me junk mail about free cavity filling. My clever friend said that onions are the only food that can make you cry, so I threw a coconut in his face. Hmm. My friend said sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me, so I threw a dictionary at his face. I went to a psychic the other day and asked her, her if I was gonna go to jail in the future. She said no, so I robbed her. I used to think drink driving was bad, but apparently my local liquor store told me that they only sell alcohol to people with driving licenses. Come everyone loves it when, when a magician makes stuff disappear, but when an airline pilot does it, everyone freaks out. Yesterday my boss told me don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job you want. Today when I turned up at the office, dressed like a ghostbuster, he told me I was fired. I recently got an alcohol tester fitted to my wallet to make sure I don't drink too much when I'm driving. It's a picture of my wife. When she starts looking good, I know I've had too much. Well, I better go now. I do hope I made you laugh just a bit, and I hope I have cheered you up. Got to go now. See you soon. Bye-bye.